I'm back to looking at episodes of Battlestar Galactica. It's been a while since I've been watching the show, and that one of the issues though is this show is not on streaming, and having to sometimes you know like I know like yeah, quick get your remote and all that. It's a lot quicker than getting the DVD out at times, but you know, but you know that's one issue I guess. But we're back to look, talking about two episodes in this case, Dirty Hands. And Maelstrom. Let's look at the first one first. Uh, in this episode... Basically what happens is Chief uh, Tyrell is basically informed that there is a lot of um, bad working work. Bad, a lot of safety issues that are going on on one of the, the, the refinery ships in which, you know, they help develop some of the things that are needed to be able to help the fleet, and in a way, a and in a way, basically, Chief Tyrell is basically stuck in a hard place of in a way, basically saying, "Hey, he wants to help these workers," and at the same time, he's also being able to, having to like say, "Hey, what can I do to, you know, make things work out for the rest of us?" In a way, and yeah, I got I say this episode was pretty good. I will say that when it comes to the refinery ship, it kind of reminded me of some, almost like, say, a factory, a factory's condition, or almost like, say, like, workers in a coal mine, in that, like, say, a lot of the work that is going on there seemed, like, relatively dangerous, like, you know, like, going through the conveyor belts, try, like, you know, using, you know, like, trying to, like, say, okay, Grab it, dig through the sand, and all that stuff to try to find certain things that we need. And, yeah, I gotta say, I think from this was really good. There is quite a, a sequence in which, um, Baltar is in prison, and then basically I was like, say, yeah, I once was once part of a farming community in Waldalay. And it shows, like, you know, one thing this episode is trying to do is, like, say what you're born into, place class and at the same time um your uh skills and all that stuff and in a way like you know like hey maybe we should not be defining folks based on where they come from and it's or like what skills they may have like say someone may not be the best at computing but at the same time or something else in that nature i don't know but this one was really good um I did figure at one point I was like, whoa, there was like a sequence in which Chief the uh, Adama is gonna say, hey, get a uh, get a uh, Tyrell's Tyrell's rifle because I'm gonna yeah he's gonna shoot her and I was like to say what because at the same time yes I understand like you know mutiny's bad but at the same time I figured like say calm down calm down Ad Let me very survival of this ship may depend on someone getting an order that they don't want to do. And if they hesitate, if they feel that orders are sometimes optional, then this ship will perish. And so will your son. Well, calm down because, like, yes, I understand the issue in that, uh, like, you know, they're, you're an entire fleet and all that stuff, but at the same time, like, okay, maybe you should all at the same time, like, let the workers at the refinery, know, like, say, hey, I feel you. Because if you, because, yes, like, say, just telling them, like, say, get back to work is not going to make things better. But I thought this episode was really good. And it's a great acting and all that. So, let's look at the episode Maelstrom. In this episode, basically, uh... Kara or Starbuck, she is in a way still having a bit of nightmares from when she was captured on Caprica, or held hostage on Caprica. And in a way, basically, like look, thinking about her past, and in a way, also going through and discovering a, um, like a, what she believes is a rogue viper. Ro not a rogue viper, a rogue Cylon ship. And at the same time, also having, talking to. Um, the guy that held her hostage on Caprica. I guess this episode is really good when it comes to 
like ideas it's trying to go for the ideas like say of the ideas of the de in a way the demons that in a way are holding us or in a way that are constantly at our minds or are constantly at our shoulders going back to our you know bad habits or calling us over there or something like that nature and but I gotta say like there are a lot of moments in this episode that are just really kind of heartbreaking and at the same time really dramatic like when uh Kara is like talking to her mother in the past who I believe she ends up having cancer because she's a chronic smoker I guess but uh yeah like basically her mom was basically part of the field and she wants uh Kara to be the best of the best of the best in a way and so basically she ends up running away because she does not want to see her mother go through that type of situation of you know uh being sick or that process and yeah i thought this was a very powerful moment that moment when she comes back to her bed and she's sick and all that oh boy do you want to know the very last thing that for him? Uh. That moment was a bit like, getting too real, show, getting too real. But, yeah, they also think like the moment where I thought, oh, they are going there, is in which, uh, Kara and Apollo are like, you know, pa Apollo basically told him, like, say, hey, I'll be there for you. I will help you try to fight these demons. By, you know, like, say, hey, if you need a, like, a fellow pilot out there with you, she ends up, you know, like, her demons in a way get too much for her. And she ends up, like, he, she basically ends up seeing with, like, you know, her spiritual guide and all that stuff. Um, but she ends up like flying away. But in reality, she ends up. No! No! Apollo. Like at first we think, okay, like he's telling her, like say, get out of there, get out of there, because you know you're gonna crash, and. You think, oh, did they kill her character off? And, yeah. I mean, it seems like they did. And I'm just going like, wow. But, I mean, I think, but I got to say the idea of like, you know, okay, we're going to kill Kara off. That's a ballsy move. Unless some something happens in the rest of the show, and I'm just going to say, "Well, I'll go son of a bitch," because then, okay, you can't, yeah, you, you have to have like something dramatic happen to surprise us. But I find this episode, both these episodes, were pretty good. See you next time.